you asked me to do a session for him in London about three months ago, or even longer actually, for that song Theoretical China. They sent me a demo tape, and I don't normally do sessions because I don't like sort of slave labour attitude to music. A bit depersonalising. Yeah, I just, just, just don't feel right about it. And um, I really like the song though. I just hear something there that reminded me a little bit of the way I, I write songs sometimes, if I do actually write a song. And uh, played on that, enjoyed enjoyed it very much, and then got the offer to come over here. And it was just come in yesterday, played through what the tracks, picked out a couple of tracks I felt I could contribute to, whacked it down and that was it. The situation in America was a little difficult. On peut dire euh, parce que les politiciens et tout ça euh, ont euh, tué toutes les situations pour, euh, pour euh, avancer un peu euh, des expériments et tout ça en, en musique partout euh, sur tous les arts c'était impossible de faire euh, quelque chose euh, euh, qui bouge, qui est réel. Et la seule seul chose qu'on qu peut faire était une chose euh, très, très commerciale avec, euh, avec des gens euh, merdiques euh, à, à L.A. ou à New York avec beaucoup d'argent et ça c'est tout. It's very dangerous to get into that thing of right, let's make commercial music. And I haven't really got any um, plans to hit the charts because I don't really want to become part of that. I'd find it quite insulting to have some 16-year-old idiot girl in a boutique come in a song of mine, you know. Don't really want that. You turn on the TV and you get some, someone talking about an aeroplane crash or something somewhere, and, or not even any, anything as, as dramatic as that, you know. Like President Reagan's latest Uber in public or whatever. It's just useless information all the time. And records, the whole music industry is, um, is, is information, technology is information, it's all evolving the new information technology and information has become more important than what it's supposed to convey. To get out of yourself, your self pitying mind. Move me by means I may not know. Gravity's too slow to move me. The principles of movement can't do a sin. The secret of eternity's a spin. It moves me. Tout ce mot on on fait un disque. Ah, mais il n'y a pas de maison de disques et tout ça. Il y a toujours des problèmes avec ta cerveau. Et moi-même, euh, j'ai de la chance maintenant pour, pour euh, faire ce disque solo. C'est l'autre côté de Taxi Le Monde. 
C'est très sat satisfiant pour moi. Parce que c'est quelque chose que je veux faire avec ta série, mais il n'y a pas moyen de, moyen de faire ça. Parce que tous les gens de ta série dans le monde ont peur de, 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 de choses populaires et, et de faire quelque chose qui, qui, qui peut gagner succès. Mais, mais je n'ai pas peur de ça. How exactly was it that you got to work with Winston Tong in the first place? How did you actually, you know, meet each other? About six months ago, uh, myself and uh, Dave Formula uh, co-produced Theoretical China. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, I was in fact only meant to play guitar on it, but I ended up co-producing. And uh, so here I am, I'm back again to do the album. Working with Winston, which is more technically orientated. How does that work out? It's better for Winston because uh, if everything, uh, if all the music, uh, music is very definite and uh, not uh, wishy-washy, then it allows him to mm. uh, ad-lib more and uh, express himself without being caged in, which he has been in the past, I think. Mm. So do you find, do you and Winston work together well as a team? I mean, is there a, you know, a clash of personalities or anything like that? No, not at all. He sits and watch videos and then he comes in and says, I think that's good or I think that's lousy. Mm. Uh, and when he does a vocal take, I say, well, he does three vocal takes and then I say, well, that was good, let's do more of that. Or that was lousy. Mm. Choices. Only an illusion So what can we believe in Long as we are alive Simple answers to all those simple fuck. Time was. There were simple answers to all those simple questions. Now it looks like we know it all. <laughs> But in reality, we ain't got no choice. You know, maybe it's just as well. I mean, we are looking for something. What it is is anybody's guess. Round and round we go, and where we may end up, nobody knows. But we gotta have an answer, and we gotta have it soon. So won't somebody please give us an answer, give us an answer, so we can go on and no regrets. No, no, no regrets. I said no regrets. No regrets. No, no, no. 